could not be more perfect. New fear unlocked. <laughs> Losing your child in this massive sunflower field. So this collection is called the Intentions Collection. Where are you taking those? <laughs> Good morning everybody. Welcome to another day. It's sunny. The sun is out. Out. Why did I sound like that? I had a bit of Malteser stuck in my throat. I feel like day to day we're getting sun, then rain, then sun, then rain. It's like a true, it's a true snapshot of a British summer so far. Thankfully, I did check the weather earlier on in the week because I noticed, I don't know if any of you here have been watching my vlogs for a long time, but every year around Halloween, we go to something called Tully's Shocktoberfest, which is like just the best, Thing ever but they also do the pumpkin patch which we also go to Tully's is a farm kind of whereabouts is it would you say like near Crawley near Crawley yeah, yeah. we just love it basically it's amazing so good for like but it's not like a traditional animal farm it's no like it's a... not like an animal farm well they I do, have, they do have that animals. as well yeah. but it's... it's a farm but it's actually more than a farm it's more events at farm right like festive massive festive events yeah they also they have a drive-in cinema right now right. oh my god i can't tell you how much this is hurting my arm to like hold this i got an email because i am subscribed to their newsletter and it said that the sunflower field was going to open and now this is one thing at tully's that we have never been to so i booked us some tickets check the weather today it actually opens so today is day one Oh, it's literally the first day today. Yeah, which I didn't realise. Well, we're keen. <laughs> yeah, we very are keen. keen. <laughs> but I was like, this was the only morning we could really do. Thankfully, the sun was out, so it's a huge contrast to yesterday. And so I booked us some tickets for the morning. I don't know what it's going to be like. As I said, I've not been to this before. But they do everything so well. I imagine it will have some like little photo ops, and I think with each ticket you can get three sunflower stems oh nice yeah so you like cut, you can like cut your own sunflowers so yeah very excited and i'm just so happy the sun is out like this could not be more perfect we are here i've never been this way before there's more pumpkins here i thought these were the sunflowers for a second i was like oh they're quite small <laughs> I was like, no, you're they're... going to be crouching down I'm, next to them. I feel like they're pumpkins or maybe they're courgettes. I don't know. Yeah, they do look someone like tell me. Right? Oh, is someone awake? Did you book the first slot on the first day? No, it's been open for hours. No, I don't think it has. <laughs> it has. I don't think it has. I feel happens. like we're going on a safari. See, can you see all the flowers? Cow. Can you see them? Cow. Cow? cow? Is there a cow? Did you see a cow? Look at the field. I love how much of a like little drive there is to get there. Yeah, it like, adds to the experience. Yeah. What can you see? Bye-bye. Can you? Bye -bye. Wow. Cow. And cows, Good okay. eyesight. Wow. Piggies. Can't see. Oh, piggies, okay. <laughs> oh, we've got a little liar on our hands. <laughs> yeah, those sunflowers are... They're tall. Unbelievable. We're gonna lose Otty in there. Oh, this looks cute. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, Daddy? Ready. It smells like ready, a car boot Daddy. sale. Ready. Like that it's fresh really grass. Lovely, doesn't it, being out here? Yeah, sunflower fields this way. Where are you off to? Come on then. Oh, oddly, there's a piano in here. You love a piano. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is just so huge. And you can just walk through them. <laughs> There's a lot of bees. I don't know how deep it's worth going. I feel like maybe there is probably deep enough. If you stand here, Alf. <laughs> Hello. Can you see mummy? Wave at mummy. Wave. Wave at mummy. <laughs> Is that a good one? <laughs> okay, she's going quite deep. Ottilie, can you wait for mummy? 
I'm gonna lose her. Oh my gosh, there's so many bees. Ottilie? <laughs> Can you still see her? <laughs> One thing I didn't really think about is not losing Ottie <laughs> in the sunflowers. <laughs> New fear unlocked. <laughs> Losing your child in this massive sunflower field. She just went, help. Oh, did she? Yeah, she was like literally right here. She was like, help. I was like, it's all good. <laughs> just having a little sit down. But oh my gosh, this is lovely and just so chilled. I needed a rest, but Otty had a lot of um, energy. So <laughs> she's having a good old explore. And Alfie's on just like follow Otty. She thinks we're at a farm with animals, oh, so she's no. looking everywhere for animals. She wants to go to a farm. <laughs> That's the whole time that I've been gone with her, she just wants to see animals. Maybe we should stop off at the tea room on the way back, because they've got the goats, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, go tell mummy what you want. Not here. There's no animals here, Otty. She's found a tractor. <laughs> Where are you off to? <laughs> We're just missing the bees, aren't we? Can we press this run? How do you drive it? <gasps> wow! Why aren't we moving? What do We've we already um, had her fall over. <laughs> we need some keys, don't we? Okay, now is the important part picking which ones we want to cut. Someone's on a mission. Yeah, she's bought the piano. <laughs> That's all she wants. <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> what makes one sunflower stand out from the others? I think they're all pretty amazing. I've seen some very big ones. Fine, and they are They also have these ones, which are all different colours. <gasps> Look at them, they're so pretty. Do you like those? The colourful, pretty ones? She is off. Oh, we are back from Tully's. It was so lovely. I already want to go back. It was such nice vibes and, I mean, the sunflowers. Look at these bad boys. Look at the, they are huge. And then I got these ones that were all like different colors. Look at them. <gasps> I'm gonna give some to my mum, I think, because this is a lot of sunflowers. <laughs> but I am just gonna put these ones into a vase. Blimey, they are huge. They're so pretty. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yes. This is my um, cinema style microwave popcorn that I bought myself from the garden centre the other day because after I ate half the box at the cinema the other day, I really craved it. <laughs> I was like, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I need to get some of that. Feel a little nervous. This is going to tip over. Look at those. I think this one is my favourite. This really pale one. That's so pretty. My mum's going to love them. Now I was going to film this inside, but it's actually so beautiful today that I really wanted to make the most of being out here. So I've brought everything from inside, outside, so that I can sit and share this with you out here because it just feels nicer. And to be honest, jewellery looks more spectacular in sunlight so this just could not be more perfect brought my sunflowers brought this out a little special something that i can share with you in today's video which i'm so 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 excited about so you may remember that last year i did a collaboration with carrie elizabeth jewelry which was just so much fun i absolutely loved getting to work with carrie her team are incredible 
and also I've been a huge huge fan of her jewellery for many many years so it really did feel like a dream come true. We had so much fun and you guys absolutely loved the last collection we did that we thought it would be an absolute no-brainer to do another collection which is what I get to share with you today. So before I tell you a little bit more about the collection I thought it would be nice to pop a little bit of behind the scenes footage here of the shoot. You'll get to see some sneak peeks of the jewellery and really get a feel for the kind of collection that it is and also behind the scenes is always so much fun to watch. I feel like most of the time the behind the scenes of a shoot is actually more fun than the actual shoot. <laughs> Even though this was a fun shoot. So enjoy that first. She's back. You trying to get out? <laughs> is called the intentions collection and it's essentially a take what you need and this idea came about because I have quite a lot of very special jewelry pieces with words things like breathe I've got two rings that say inhale and exhale the weather will probably go in and out through this video by the way so I hope you're okay with that and I get a lot of confidence and reassurance from wearing pieces like that and it really got me thinking about how much those pieces mean to me and when I look down at those words or I think about what that means how much of a boost it can give me in the day so I thought it would be really nice for us to come together and curate a collection around intentions and the things that you want to bring into your life or words or stones that have a lot of power or meaning to you or that can make you feel a certain way when you're wearing them. I also felt like this would be a really nice collection to gift if you've got a friend who's recently had a promotion, a friend that needs good luck or an area in their life where they feel they could use a little bit of like motivation or reassurance in that sense. I think that this would be really really nice. So one of the things I was really excited to do was explore a pendant and I have one on. This is the pendant that you may have seen me wearing over the last couple of days. You can also open it, which I just think is so cute. I love that it's a bubble pendant too. It's really like dainty. It doesn't feel like it's overpowering if you wanna layer it with other jewelry. And it has a little stone set in a star. And on the other side, there is the word or the intention that you want to wear. The necklace that I have got on is the Rose Quartz, which of course is love, and it just says love on the back as well, which is gorgeous. So I thought it'd be nice to give you the list of intentions and the stones within them, and then like a little bit about each stone. I have got this written down because there is, although most of them are in my brain, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to remember, so bear with me. So Pearl is love. And I really loved that as an intention because I just feel like so many of us on our day to day are really hoping for something. And I just feel like if you're wearing luck, I don't know, I'm just, I'm a bit like this. I'm quite superstitious. I just feel like if I've got the luck pendant on, I'm gonna have a good day. <laughs> I also think Pearl is a really, really nice one to give as a gift. I think luck is such a nice thing to want for somebody else. Okay, so the next intention is balance. I feel like we could all do with a little bit more balance in our lives every now and then. And I really loved this as an intention. The stone with 
balance is amethyst. So amethyst is known for its spiritual healing properties and for bringing calm and wisdom, which I think ties in so beautifully with balance and just finding that like inner peace in your life. As I'm speaking to you, there is a baby rabbit in front of me in my garden and I feel like I'm in Beatrix Potter and there's a robin on the wall. This could not be more idyllic right now. <laughs> so next up we have heel and the stone alongside this one is topaz. Topaz is known for having a real strong energy with clarifying your thoughts. So I feel like heel, I think heel is also probably a really nice one to give a friend who might be going through a tough time. And also just a very beautiful underrated stone. I do love a topaz. Next up is courage and the stone alongside this is peridot. As you know, peridot is one of my favorite stones. I absolutely love it. It's the beautiful light green one. Peridot is a really beautiful, meaningful gemstone known for bringing out your inner strength. And so we felt that this really worked well with courage. Next up we have strength and this sits alongside the stone sapphire. So this one is known as the stone of wisdom. Side note, one of the other things I really love about working with Carrie Elizabeth is that I have learned so much more about gemstones and it's just fascinating and I love it. And it's like a whole side to like jewelry creation that I just find so, so interesting. Next up is love. And of course this pairs beautifully with rose quartz. Rose quartz represents the heart and embodies everything unconditional love. I don't know why I'm wearing love. I've got love in my life, but maybe that's why I'm wearing it because you can never have enough, to be honest. <laughs> Next up is success and the stone alongside that is citrine, which is that beautiful orangey yellow stone. Again, I think hugely underrated. I think it's such a pretty one, especially in summertime. Next up, we have power with the opal. I love an opal. Oh my gosh, I think opal might be up there with one of my favorite gemstones. It's so, so beautiful. And I also just love the intention power. I feel like that's a great one to wear on like the everyday. And last up is energy and we paired this one with moonstone. Again, I think this might be one of my favorite stones. It's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous and it works so well with energy. And I should probably be wearing that today because I need all the energy I can get right now. <laughs> I need to be wearing more moonstone. So those are all the intentions and the stones that those have been paired with. Now I will move on to share with you the jewelry in the collection. So the collection consists of nine rings, 10 necklaces and 10 bracelets, both in silver and gold vermeil. I'll give you a little up close of the rings. Feel free to pause the video. You are gonna see these in a lot of Instagram content. And of course you can go on over to the website and see them in more detail, but they are so beautiful. We wanted something a little more varied in this collection. I feel like there was quite a lot of stacking rings in the previous collection. And with this one, we wanted a few more like stand out, kind of more standalone pieces. And I genuinely feel like there is something for everyone here. There's like a slightly more antique style, so many different shaped gemstones, and then also a couple of the more kind of simple stacking style bands as well. And then necklace wise, we have nine pendants and one necklace that I just absolutely wanted to create to be worn with the pendant. I've actually got it on here. It's half um, teeny little rice pearls and then half chain. And I just love that that sits a little higher and you can wear it with one of the pendants. And that also comes in both gold for male and silver. And bracelets wise, we did one that ties in really nicely with this necklace which I am wearing here. And then we did each gemstone in this beautiful, delicate bracelet. And I just love these. I'm obsessed. They're so beautiful and dainty and you can mix and match or stack them or they're really lovely to pair with any other bracelets you might already have because they're so beautiful and so subtle. I feel like the bracelets among my friends have proven very, very popular, which is always nice to know. Also, one of the reasons I love and wear Carrie Elizabeth jewelry myself is because so many of their bracelets have this incredible adjustment fixture, which is essential for me because I have such small wrists, which means that actually a lot of bracelets from a lot of other brands that I have bought, 
I cannot wear because they just fly off my hand. So I really love that this is adjustable. It means you can go bigger, you can go smaller, depending on what size wrist you have. It's basically a one size fits all, which I absolutely love. So that is in a nutshell, which has probably not even really been a nutshell. I've been talking about these for a very long time, but I'm very excited and very passionate. <laughs> that is the intentions collection. I really, really hope you enjoy it. It is available now. I will leave a link down below. Make sure to go and check it out. I feel like whether it is a piece of jewellery for you or there's an intention that you're drawn to or a gemstone that you're drawn to or something that you want to bring into your life or something that if you look down at it will make you feel a little more confident about the things that you want or need definitely go on over and check it out equally i think that they would make such lovely special presents for anyone in your life that you think might also need a little bit of encouragement i will be styling a lot of these pieces over the coming days and weeks um, so you'll get to see them a little bit more in vlogs but also if you want to take a closer look at the jewelry make sure to check the website or you can go over to carrie elizabeth jewelry on instagram and you can see it all there as well Taking those? Oh. Oh, do you have Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, oopsie. Never mind. I think Nanny will still like them. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Lovely. We've been picking sunflowers. Are you ready? Yeah. This is a grasshopper. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Grasshop hop. Look what happened. He's going to jump. Him? Try and stroke him, and he's no. going to jump. No, mummy, show you. Look, ready? Oh. Where's he gone? He's over there. Oh. He's jumping. Look. Oh. Can you see? Oh. Ah. <laughs> he's hopping. Oh. He's so good at jumping. Oh. Can you do it? Oh. Where's he gone? <laughs> There's a mummy do it. Okay. <laughs> Look at pop. Hop, hop. nighttime skincare as opposed to what I used this morning. So to take off my makeup I use this. This is the Herborean Centella Cleansing Balm. It's delicious. It smells so good and does a great job. Next up I used the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser. Gentle and traceless perfect makeup cleansing with antioxidant vitamin C and grape polyphenols just use that as my second cleanse this leaves your skin feeling like the cleanest it's ever been i can't explain it it's like the skin just feels new it's great then i used a little bit of this again i feel like someone told me that it's pronounced lineage 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 um but i'm probably still saying it wrong Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Revitalizing Toner. Still need to order that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting. And then I film these videos and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got like a day left. So I just used that as my toner. Then I used the Allies of Skin Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. Um, this stuff is so good for pigmentation on your face. So for me, you can see wherever I've had spots, it just leaves like a red mark for 
a really long time so mandelic acid is like essential for me in somewhere in my skincare routine my skin thanks me when i use this um and i really felt like i could do with it <laughs> so i've used that and then again on my eyes i use the sunday riley auto correct brightening and depuffing eye contour cream which i always think really brightens under my eyes i love it <sighs> right down here you can see that all i'm wearing is this t-shirt it is so warm it's really humid tonight so all i'm wearing is this t-shirt and i have pants on but still i was like oh yeah there's my reflection it's a good job you can't like see my ass or anything <laughs> but it's far too hot for pj bottoms i'm gonna end this video here but i hope you've enjoyed today it was so nice getting out this morning to the sunflower field glad my mum loved her sunflowers and um yeah i'm just like super excited and buzzing that the collection is now available so as i said earlier if there is something there that takes your fancy or you know somebody else would love as a gift then definitely go down below and check out the website and have a little look at the whole collection for yourself and we will see you again tomorrow with another video bye